Yo, what's good people? Welcome to episode 4 of Raven 101. So today we're going to be talking about Raven's throw game. So I did Raven's a mass Raven's throw game in second 7. I think they changed some inputs and made like one throw doable in crouch, which is a bit weird, but also very beneficial to, you know, players that like to do crouch dash a lot. So we're going to just cover Raven's throw game as a whole, what he can do in certain stages, his back turn throws or lack of back turn throw mix and stuff like that. I'm gonna probably slow down on the videos now just because the initial craze of Tekken 8 is kind of dying off. And I'm not gonna lie, it's very hard to keep this momentum going in terms of videos every single day, every single day, every single day. So I really wanna sit down and take my time with projects now. I wanna create quality content. So yeah, I've been loving the support as of recently. Um, you know, keep rocking and like, comment, subscribe because it will help me and you know, help me know that you are liking the content. Liking will help with the algorithm, commenting will help with the algorithm, just comment an emoji and then you'll get a W back from me. Let's get started. But one thing to note with throws is that they're high attacks. So as you can see by the kind of display, you can see that they're both high attacks. So these and also Raven's generic throws and two throw. So yeah, these are all high attacks. So they are vulnerable to being duck and launch. So I've set Raven to do jab throw. So as you can see, I got grabbed because I didn't duck or well, you can actually duck and launch so I would be careful spamming throws although they are a really really good tool there is a weakness um, they can be duck and launched it's weird because you can't actually sidestep throws now I'm just trying to show you that throws fully home now so sidestep right sidestep left sidewalk nope I'm still gonna get grabbed so yeah this is a good substitute if your character does not have a homing move although they do have the weakness of being duck and launched or duck and punished so that's one thing to note just off the bat so that you know you know throws are not something to spam they are a very very strong tool but you know there is a weakness behind it let's start with raven's generic throws so raven's first generic throw is one plus three so this one has good oki as you can see if they hold back you can hit them with forward two three and this was the same in Tekken 7, so this Oki didn't really change. It's just a little bit more difficult to time it. Um, they can actually get out of this now. So like if they hold back, sometimes you can hit them with it. Sometimes you can't hit them with it. It just depends on, you know, how they get up. So look, you're going to see. He can just hold back now. So the specific ways that they get up where they can get hit. So what happens if they tear cross off? I've set them to side Yukemi left and side roll left. So... They're gonna roll left so this can hit grounded if they tech roll if they stay on the floor and do nothing this is not going to hit them because forward two does not hit grounded it hits tech rolls as you can see it's just not going to do anything it doesn't hit grounded so yeah like it just depends on how they get up but the ok is very good if they stay on the floor now you can hit them with lows so down four will hit them down back four will hit them so it's just kind of I would recommend to do forward two three as a kind of you know what are they gonna do when I do this throw if if it lands what are they gonna do so yeah you can do that to kind of check w which way they're getting up and then you can go for other stuff you know if you think they're gonna block mid so that's a good one to get to catch back rolls is down forward four so yeah. As I said, it depends how they're getting up. But yeah, they will get hit with this if they tech roll and if they hold back. So this one is actually quite cheap, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, that's his one throw, his one generic throw, one plus three. What about two plus four? This just has no okay, it just switches sides. Interestingly, this one switches side on break as well. So I'm going to set them to opponent throw escapes, throw escape. So they're going to break it, but it always switches sides. So this is useful if you, you know, let's say you're on P2 and you're not as comfortable moving and whatnot. You can actually just throw them to the other side. As, as I said, this one is hard to evade because all throws are homing now. So they can't actually escape or evade this with a sidestep and movement. They have to either duck it or break it. So this one is really, really strong and useful. And I feel like it's underrated for positioning as well so you know if you're at the wall you can position yourself to get out of the wall and get away from the wall with this throw so this one's really really good as well just for mainly positioning it is a generic throw so you can break this with one or two 
So generic throws will be same with one plus three. You can break it with one or two. One thing to note as well is he can do his generic throws from back turn as well. So that's his one throw, that's his two throw. So he can do these from back turn. Now they took away back turn one plus four. So his throws are no longer a mix up their generic from back turn as they were in Tekken 7 season three and before. What's interesting is in older Tekken games, because generic throws were actually a one or two break, you couldn't just break them with either either button. Raven did actually have a back turn throw mix because you could do generic throw, which would be always a one break. You couldn't press two and he had two throw. So it was actually a 50-50. I don't know why they don't add that back, but it is what it is. We kind of have to work with the throw game. It's still really, really good, but yeah, just some of these note. He can do them from back turn also. So, you know, throwing this out every once in a while after, you know, a down back two on hit. Throwing it out after 4-1 on hit sometimes, as, as I said, they can't sidestep it. So a lot of people default to sidestepping after getting hit with a 4-1. So yeah, you can kind of catch people off guard with this as well. You know, down back to you, same situation. Same situation. So I would recommend actually throwing out a generic in uh, a generic throwing back turn because it, it can catch people off guard. And also people have the muscle memory of trying to press 1 plus 2 to break it because of Tekken 7. So you can kind of abuse you know the previous matchup knowledge um to your advantage you know it, it will catch certain players even top level players will still sometimes press one plus two those are raven's generic throws let's talk about his command throws okay his one command throw which is down forward one plus four is a one to break so i'm going to record raven to do that and show you if i press two and one plus two i'm gonna get hit i'm gonna get grabbed okay so i'm gonna press two to break it i'm gonna get hit you see now I'm going to press 1 plus 2 to break it. I'm going to get hit. So you must press 1. Interestingly, this throw is 11 frames. Start up. And usually throws are 12 frames. So this throw is a 12 frame start up. This throw is 12 frame start up. This one is 11 frames. So slightly quicker. Okay. So that's his 1 throw. Now, what situations can you do the one throw from? So obviously, yes, you can stand and do one throw, sidestep one throw, but you can also do it from crouch now. So if you're in crouch, all you need to do is press down forward plus one plus four. That was not in Tekken 7. You couldn't do that. You had to kind of crouch dash, return to stand and then press one plus four. Now from crouch dash, you could, you could just do crouch dash, hold down forward and then press one plus four, which is still the same. So you can do it from crouch dash. Similarly, you can do wave dash. And they made it easy because all you need to do is press down forward one plus four or down forward plus one plus four in crouch. So it's easier to do this from wave dash and crouch dash now, which is really, really nice. A good quality of life change, I suppose. So that's his one throw. Okay, so before we move on to Raven's Undertaker throw, I just want to say the damage for his throws and his generic throws are 35 damage so the undertaker throw does 40 damage so yeah his one plus four throw command throw does 35 damage so interestingly if you are at the war there's some weird okay with this as well so i'm going to show you at the war now he's set to back roll so now if they hold back in this situation and they get thrown by this you can actually hit them with forward two three there's nothing they can do about it they have to tech roll okay so there's one other situation where you can really capitalize on throwing your opponent with down forward one plus four now that is floor break stages and floor blast stages so as you can see now he can combo from this for massive damage okay so now we're going to talk about raven's undertaker throw so previously i'm going to show you the input for undertaker throw so previously the input was half circle back forward one plus two now you can see why that's a problem because he had power crush as forward one plus two. So sometimes if you miss input the throw, you would get power crush or you would sometimes get forward forward two if you tried to dash. But now it's just up forward one plus two. And that's really, really useful for Raven because you can do it from crouch or forward one plus two from crouch because the up forward cancels the crouch and you can do his undertaker throw from crouch. Now, similarly, if you are crouch dashing, you can also do up forward one plus two. So this is really, really useful now for like, you know, white hole stuff. So you can get really creative with this from different situations. So yeah, this one is really, really strong. So this is 40 damage 
And I think it does about 43 damage in rage or something like that. Let's check that. But yeah, this is a good one to just throw out. It does a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, just uh, one plus two throws. Not really much to say about Undertaker throw. It doesn't have crazy Oki. It doesn't, it doesn't break the floor. It doesn't do anything. It's just a good one plus two throw to throw out this every now and then. And it looks cool. So, you know, why not? So in rage, this throw does 44 damage. So I was one off. So yeah, 44 damage in rage. Pretty good throw. It's good in the clutch as well. So I don't know. I just think Raven's throw game is really, really good. It's not full throw game because he doesn't have a two command throw. I wish they would give him a two command throw, but I think he would be, yeah, he would be, his throw game would be insane. Imagine if Raven had a, a full throw game from like Crouch Dash. That would be actually insane. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, I think the fact they didn't give him a two throw is is a, a good thing because that would be ridiculous. But yeah, that, that is kind of Raven's throw game in a nutshell. You know, he has a one command throw. He has that breaks the floor, that floor blasts, gives good Oki in at the wall. And then he has his Undertaker throw of forward one plus two. And then his generic throw gives some really nice Oki as well. So you can do stuff like that. Or you can do forward two. Or you can even do a low to hit them as well. So it just, you can vary your Oki options with this throw. And then also he has his two generic throw. So this is really good for space control or just spacing i wouldn't really call it space control i would call it more positioning stage positioning so you can get out of the wall with this or you can you know if you know your opponent is weak on one side you can just throw them even if they break it it's going to put them on that one side so you can be really strategic with raven's throw game i think in tekken 8 so yeah that was raven's throw game if you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what you think about raven's throw game what, what you think about raven in general in tekken 8 like comment subscribe liking will help with the algorithm commenting will help with the algorithm just comment an emoji you will get a w from me and yeah subscribe to let me know that you enjoyed the content hope you enjoyed peace